Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create two pie charts in one. So what we have here is it looks like there are actually two pie charts. We have this inner pie chart which shows the different fruits, vegetables, and beef and this outer pie chart which is the uh, larger category of fruits, vegetable, and meats. How do we create something like this? Well, let's show you how. I'll take this particular column of information, control C, create a new sheet and paste it. Let's just paste the values. And the secret to this is actually creating two additional columns of information where we are going to source our pie chart. It's really not a pie chart, but it is a donut chart. Now, let me see if I can spell tier correctly. Tier one and tier Two. So tier one, so think about if you move further out from this first column, you're going to have your outer rings. So our inner rings are going to be these particular items, the, the I guess the more uh, detailed items here. Fruits and vegetables and meats are our broader categories, but apples, bananas, and oranges, and all of this should be our more detailed categories. I'm just going to make up some numbers and use the random number generator ran between and let's do something random numbers between 11 and 199. Close parentheses, press control enter to apply that formula all the way down. This is a formula now. I don't want it to change anymore with this random between function because every time I press the F9 key it's going to change. Let's make this static. Control Z, control C to copy, and then we're just going to paste it as values so we get rid of that formula. What we need to do now is sum up each of the appropriate items for the categories. Oh, I added meats as, I gave values to meats, so I don't need that. My category of fruits are these items. I'm going to take the sum of that, which is 495, and plug this in here, 495. For the vegetables, which is celery, lettuce, and radish, and kale, it's going to be these four items. The sum is 444, so I'll plug in 444. And for meats, chicken and beef, this is 217, so I'll plug in 217. Now, I'll take this full range of data, go to insert, and under the pie chart, I'm actually not going to select the pie chart. I'm going to select a donut chart. And this is where the magic happens, where we are using the donut chart and turning it into sort of a pie chart. Let's get rid of this legend. We don't need that. Select that. Delete. And select one of the donut chart slices. It will select everything. Right click, format data series. And for the donut hole size, we want to make that smaller. We don't want to have that 75. We'll just turn that to zero. And now we have our two pies in one chart. It, all, it just looks like one pie, one smaller pie on top of the other. I'm going to apply this uh, preset chart style. It looks kind of nice. And when I did that, actually, it got rid of my formatting to reduce that donut hole size. So let's change it again. Press enter, and I've got my donut hole size. Get rid of my legend. Press delete. And you'll notice that if I added labels here, right click, add data labels, it's going to give me my labels 495, which are my fruits, 217, my meats, and 444, my vegetables. I'm also going to add data labels for this inner pie chart. Select anyone and right click. Add data labels, and I have data labels here. Now the values might not make too much sense here because it's harder to look at values and see how they are part of a whole. So let's make those into percentages. So I'll click on the one of the values here on the outer circle, go to the label options, and instead of value, I'll click percentage. It's going to give me the percentage of that outer ring. Also, let's bring over the names and that's going to be the category name. Let's also do the same for the inner circle. 
end, get rid of value, add percentage, and add category name. What you notice that it looks really kind of hard to read. So what we need to do is kind of pull out the labels for the inner circle. It makes it easier to read. And we want to keep this show leader lines available because it's going to point back to that particular slice. So I'm going to click outside and just select one or just select one. I, did, I guess I didn't really need to click outside. Select it, click it and click it again and just pull it out. And that becomes apples. Click on bananas and pull that out. Pull that out over here. We got our bananas, same with oranges. Pull that out over here. Celery down here. And pull on lettuce. And I'll speed up this video so you don't have to see me pulling it so slowly. So as you can see here with this two pies in one kind of chart, it's probably not a good idea to have too many series of data. So if you are looking to see how a series of data fits within a whole, having not too many objects or elements probably would help. So this is not a bad chart to see the relationship of how one part relates to the whole of something else. So having these two pies in one chart just gives you another way of seeing data visually. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.